Okay, so here's a little tour of my creative cave, my studio. This is primarily where I work on my small pieces. It's a outdoor table, actually, that I um, bought, I think, for $30 when I was in Sedona. I loved it because it has a glass top, and I use the glass top as a paint just palette. So um, you can see stuff I have on the shelf underneath. Um, but over here, I keep stuff white because that's predominantly where I paint. Um, and there's a work in progress on the easel. It's, it's kind of sat around for a year or so, but I do plan to get back to it. Um, this is one of my, every artist has a cart with paint. I have several. Um, this is a cool little found, find, found, find, find, <laughs> find uh, that I got at Hobby Lobby for $20, uh, but I love it because I, I just put all my hand uh, painted papers in there and it's a nice way to get them organized. I also have a little tray up top where I throw everything that I'm currently working on in. And uh, let's see, what else? So one of the things I love about this cellar studio is this beautiful sliding door to the outside where I see turkeys and bunnies and squirrels and chipmunks and my cat Charlie loves it. He hangs out in front of it quite often. And this is a little corner where I'm working on a new project, something different, painting a mountain lion and a pumpkin. Someone left this very heavy metal pumpkin <laughs> um, at the mail house in my condo and I'm like, okay, I'll take that and redo it. So we'll see what happens with it. Right now I'm just painting colorful underlayers, which is kind of my process. I love how they peek through in the subsequent layers. So um, that's what's in progress. And then I have this little shelf here that my son built me that holds my 12 by 12s that I'm working on. And um, these are some acrylics on pap uh, paper and then some prints, uh, G-clay prints that I've had made. And over here are just some folding tables that I can move around. These are wall easels, again, that my son built for me so I can work on larger pieces. And my goal for the remainder of the year is to venture into making bigger pieces. So this is me starting out with my colorful underlayers, um, which just makes me happy. It gets me in the flow, gets the creative juices flowing. I don't know what it's going to be yet. It might be a birch tree. It might be a marshscape. Not really sure. And there's another one that I'm also working on. A couple more painters trays or carts that I can move around with my paints on it that I love. Lots of little folding tables. I have a dehumidifier which is really important <laughs> in a cellar studio that can run a little damp. I have no water issues in the cellar but it does get humid down here and damp so I've got it set so it will protect any paperwork and artwork as well. And that's a little mini fridge. Some storage here. As you can see I'm fairly neat and organized. I don't like, I call it visual clutter, but anyway, I just like a, things quiet and calm and nicely organized. Um, this is a little hutch that I got for free. Uh, thanks to my son, he picked it up, it's kind of heavy, but it's just a, inside I store um, like framing materials, packing materials, and in the drawers I have paper, you know, watercolor paper, um, and just different things like that. So, sorry, that's not very easy to see. And then we come around here and I have my card rack um, with my different cards that I've had uh, made up from artwork that I've painted, as you can see. Some of the latest winter berries are there. Some of the marsh scapes. They're five by fives. And then over here, storing basically paper towels, um, is a cradle. And this cradle, uh, I when I was born, this is the cradle that I was in. And every child in our family, um, on the maternal side, has 
been in this cradle when they were born, even if it was only for a few days. Um, my son was in it, um, my cousins, my sister. Um, I'm not sure about my niece, maybe once. Um, and we come back full circle to the beginning. And let's see if I can give you the long view. So come down around here. The light's going to be a problem. Oops, sorry. I just spun you right around. As you can see, I'm not used to doing this. So I'm backing up just so you can see. It is a nice, big, spacious studio.